All right, well, welcome to the webinar today. My name is Wesley Smith with treeservicedigital.com. And if you're on uh, the Facebook Live, thank you so much for joining today. I'm super excited and pumped to have this webinar for you, this important topic about your SEO strategy and your local market. It goes along with your digital dominance method as a whole. So I wanna make sure you're there. If you guys are on the YouTube channel, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're hearing this on the podcast, Tree Service Marketing Profits, go ahead and like our podcast. And uh, also, if you are... Uh, seeing this live and you got invited, you're here. Uh, we also have a free Facebook group. So if you didn't join via the Facebook group, we're in Tree Service Marketing Secrets on Facebook. Just do a search. We'll approve you if you're a tree service company there. So welcome to the webinar. I'm going to share my slides with you just now. Let's see if I can get this to share and work correctly. Okay. looks like it went through there. Uh, by the way, during this quick webinar, if you guys have any questions, just pop them in the chat. and I'll do my best to answer those live for you. Uh, as they come in. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, no problem there. Uh, but this is going to be a very, very important topic on why you want your website to show up at the top of the page. And these easy fixes that you can do on your existing website to help Google recognize your website, know what it's about, and actually put it up to the top of the search results there. So these are easy SEO tweaks and changes that are going to help you rocket your website to the top of the search rankings in your local market. So number one, what we want to do on your existing website. So if you already have an existing website, you don't have to change it necessarily. I can show you a couple of things you can do yourself on your own um, just by logging into your website, making a couple of key changes. It's going to help Google recognize what your website's about, where to rank it, and show up a little bit higher in your, in your local market so you get more leads coming in. Uh, so number one, let's compile your tree service keywords uh, in your local area. So a keyword is just something that somebody types into the Google search bar, right? If somebody types in tree service near me, tree removal, your city, right? Tree removal, Atlanta, if that's where you live. Tree removal, Chicago, tree removal, Columbus, whatever. Whatever that looks like, that's a keyword that somebody types in. So let's go to Google search real quick. Hopefully you can see my screen. So for this particular example, we're gonna use Brandon, Mississippi, where we have a client currently. And we're gonna do a search for tree service Brandon, Mississippi. So that's a keyword, right? People in Brandon, Mississippi or right outside of Jackson, Mississippi, they do searches like everywhere else. They do searches like tree service near me. And if they're standing in Brandon, Mississippi, Google's gonna know that based on their IP address. They're gonna know that based on their GPS on their phone. Uh, which is kind of scary, but they do know all of that stuff about you. So when you do that search, they're going to show you results that are local, right? So that's a keyword, tree service brand in Mississippi. Also, tree removal brand in Mississippi, tree removal near me, if they're standing in brand in Mississippi, those are keywords. So typically your keywords are going to be like tree service your city, tree trimming your city, tree pruning your city, tree removal your city. If you do land clearing, land clearing your city, land clearing your county, things like that, where the big money jobs are. So those are keywords. So let's, let's compile a list of the keywords in your area. So if you're watching this, you're watching this later on the replay or whatever, get a piece of paper out and just write down what your keywords are. So you may be in Phoenix, Arizona. You could be in you know, the Bronx, New York, you could be in Atlanta, Georgia, wherever, write down your tree service, your city, tree trimming, your city, tree removal, your city. And let's have a list of those keywords. So you know what a keyword is. So that's, that's all a keyword is something somebody types in when they're searching for tree services. So that's number one. Let's get that list compiled. That way you've got that and you have kind of a, a basis to go by. Number two, let's go ahead and add the SEO titles to your main pages. So those same keywords, now we wanna add that main keyword to your title of your homepage of your website. So if your website is xyztreeservice.com, you can go and log into your website because we're gonna go ahead and add the SEO title to your main page of your website. So if your website is xyztreeservice.com, just go ahead and log into your website any way you do. Uh, if it's a WordPress site, it's generally yourwebsite.com forward slash WP admin. And then you can put in your username and password. If it's some other website builder like Weebly, Wix, Squarespace, or something like that, GoDaddy, you log in a different way and you know how to get there based on, you know, you, you've been in there before. So what happens is you go to the homepage, let's say you're on the homepage here. And do you see right here where I'm hovering over the screen and it shows the keyword. So it says tree service, Brandon, Mississippi, removal and trimming. Okay. So let's go over here. That's exactly what just showed up in the search results right here. Right. So when somebody does a search for tree service, Brandon, Mississippi, guess what? They see 
veronistreepros.com, they see the website URL, the website page, and the title of that page, number one in the listing on top of that website. So this actually tells Google exactly what your website should rank for when somebody does a search for this keyword. It should rank for tree service brand in Mississippi. Because why? Because we added it in the title of the homepage of this website, right? So whatever you add in the title of that website page, that tells Google this page is about that first and foremost. It's not the only thing that you can do, but it's the first thing, right? It's the first thing Google will crawl and see on your website page. What is this page about? This page is about tree service brand in Mississippi. And Google is recognizing that because they're ranking it number one for that keyword, tree service brand in Mississippi. Look at that. And then that subsequently will also push up your maps, which is a whole different webinar. Google Maps is a beast in itself. It works very well if you get it ranked, but so does your website. So your website's number one, and that's going to be the topic of this webinar today. So we want to make sure we get that keyword into the title of your website page. That's going to really help your website start moving up. I mean, I've seen websites that either we're replacing from clients that come on board with Tree Service Digital uh, or just, just scan in other websites. And literally the homepage, the only thing it says up here is home. There's no keyword in the title. They don't have anything in the header photo. They don't have anything down here. Um, they don't have any keywords in here. It just says home up here. And so Google is literally never going to rank your website for tree service brand in Mississippi if the home page just says home. You know, maybe you've got the address of Brandon, Mississippi in the footer of your website and some lucky coincidental way it'll end up showing up on that first page down the road five, 10 years later. But everybody else that's doing SEO has a website that's decent, has on-page SEO optimized like this is going to outrank you all day, every day. Um, because it tells Google what this page is about, right? You got to tell them what it's about. That's kind of the foundation of what we need to do. So the similar things you can do, if you go to like, let's say the stump grinding page here, we want to make sure the stump grinding page has our keyword in it too. So this page is not about tree service. It's about stump grinding. So we want to stump grinding your city in the header up there, right? We're targeting Jackson, Mississippi for this particular page, simply because it's a larger area and they wanna cover the entire area for stump grinding, so that's fine. Um, so we wanna make sure that we have the keyword on this page and see where you have the keyword on that page. Uh, debris cleanup, same thing. They wanna have debris cleanup on this page, Jackson, Mississippi. You see how that's the keyword in this particular page right here. So that's what you want. You wanna make sure you put the keyword in the title of the page and make sure it is there, right? So. Just want to make sure I reiterate that, that you see we need the keywords on the title of the pages. Number three, on those pages that you're optimizing, you already changed the header. You know, you changed the SEO title of that page to your city keyword, tree service your city, tree removal your city, those types of keywords. Next, let's add paragraph headers with those same keywords too. That further drives home the point to Google that this page is about the same thing that what the header already says about, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So this one actually has a video and we need to pause that because it automatically plays right there. But you can see right here. So this page is about tree service in Madison, Mississippi, right? Tree service in Madison, Mississippi. Well, the title says Madison, Mississippi tree service. That's exactly what we want to rank for. Guess what else? The first H1 header is Madison, Mississippi tree service. That's powerful. Now we're further driving the point home. We're double whammying to Google that, hey, this page is about Madison, Mississippi tree service. This is a blurb about the city of Madison, Mississippi. And that's going to tell you. And then we provide the following services, tree removal, Madison, Mississippi, tree pruning, Madison, Mississippi. And guess what? If you go over here and you look up tree service, Madison, Mississippi, well, there's that page, number one organically in the maps because everything are on in organically below the maps because everything is about Madison, Mississippi on this page. So do you see where all of this stuff helps you really rank for the things that you want to rank for on Google search, on Bing search, Yahoo search, et cetera? And those things are going to really help you um, get the most mileage out of your website and the most lead flow when it ranks at the top of those pages. So I can't stress this enough. This is the foundation of SEO. You've probably heard that term a million times. SEO, SEO, search engine optimization. What you're doing is optimizing your pages for search. So when people do searches, 
your optimized pages for that particular search are going to show up higher than the competition if you do it correctly. And there's some other things that you have to do as well uh, other than this, but this right here is the foundation. This is what's going to get the needle moving for you on your website to move up in those search rankings. So I hope that makes sense. Everything's about that area on this page, right? So you want to make sure you do that. That's number three. Number four, add content with those same similar keywords, tree service brand in Mississippi, tree removal brand in Mississippi, into the content of the website. So when somebody is on the website, not only do we have the page title, the SEO title on the page of the website, we've also got the header on the page of the website, right? We're further driving that point home to Google. Hey, this page is about Madison, Mississippi Tree Service. But we're also going to have a lot of good content and wording in here about tree service in Madison, Mississippi. And so that's what you want, tree stump removal, you know, unhealthy trees in Madison, Mississippi. You know, been working in the Madison, Mississippi region for years. We provide the following services, tree removal in Madison, tree pruning in Madison, do you see where I'm kind of going with that? And the same thing with all the other pages. You can look at any of these location pages. Let's go look at Canton, Mississippi page, for example. So all these pages, we actually, there's a video on some of these for different ones, but if we do, let's just say Florence, Mississippi. Let's see this page here. Same thing, any of them that you go to, we've done the same thing. So we've got content on these pages. Florence, Mississippi Tree Service is the title of this page. So if this is your homepage of your website and you're located in Florence, Mississippi, you want the, the title of the page to be Florence, Mississippi Tree Service, Tree Service, Florence, Mississippi, Tree Trimming and Removal, that type of thing. The header's got the tag in there, tells Google exactly what this page is about, right? And, uh, and that way, in the body of the content, you're going to be talking about different things about Florence, Mississippi, tree services in Florence, Mississippi, tree removal, tree trimming and pruning. And that way, Google just knows exactly where to rank your website. And there's more to it than this, but this is the foundation that you have to build the right way. And this is what's going to help you move up a little bit. Now, to get it to move up a little bit faster, there's some things you can do with getting backlinks, powerful links to your website, press releases different things like that. They're going to help you guys get there faster. But I hope that just makes sense where, you know, we definitely want to make sure we got all of the, the title of the page, the paragraph headers of the page. We also want good content on the page with all of those keywords in it as well. And then, um, you know, we, we've already compiled our list of keywords. So last but not least, what are we going to do with all this additional traffic to our website once it starts ranking very well? in our local market. Well, one good thing you could install on your website is a click to call button. And so on WordPress websites, which about 90, 92% of websites are built on the WordPress platform, there's a couple different plugins, but one of them is called uh, Call Now Button. Very simple, you go install Call Now Button, and what happens is it puts a little widget on your website to make it where anybody can call you at any time. So if you get a lot of traffic to your website, guess what? We want to make sure nobody forgets to give us a call, right? So when somebody gets to your website, let's make sure we have a call now button on the bottom of the website. Some of them are over here, like a little uh, icon right here. And either way, as long as they can see it anytime they're scrolling, you're going to have a good uh, increased amount of lead flow because now it's really easy because mobile devices now are the majority of searches online. So if you get 70 or 80% of the searches in your local area from a mobile device, well, it makes a lot of sense to have a call now button right there on the bottom of the a website when they're on their phone. And then they literally can just tap it with their thumb and it generates a call to your office, right? Instead of the old way, they would have to go and find your, your phone number. Hey, where's their phone number at? I'm not even sure where their phone number is. And they're not real sure. Oh, here it is right here. So let me go. Let me go write down the phone number real quick. 601. Three, okay. And now let me call them now. Right. Nobody's going to take the time to do that anymore. So you really want to have a call now button, especially for these mobile device searches, which hell, is the lion's share of all searches these days anyway. So um, that's really what you want to do for mobile search. So those are the five things that you need to do. Easy SEO tweaks to rocket your website to the top of the search rankings. And I don't want to make this video too terribly long because these things are pretty easy to do once you log into your website. You literally, number one, compile the list of your tree service keywords. So whatever city you're in, tree service your city, tree removal your city, tree trimming your city, land clearing your city, whatever services you should do, that's your list of keywords. Next, add SEO titles to the main pages of your website. So you use that list of keywords that you have 
to add into the title of your website right here. So the title of the page is here. So you can log into your website and the SEO title of that page can be changed to the main keyword. So in this case, Florence Mississippi Tree Service, that's number two. Number three, add paragraph headers um, to your pages with the same keywords to kind of further drive that point home that this page is about tree service in Florence, Mississippi. And I'll show you right here. See here, Florence, Mississippi Tree Service. Florence, Mississippi Tree Service. Like there's no mistaking what this page should rank for on Google search, right? And we'll just go ahead and confirm that by doing a search right here. So if we did a search for tree service, Florence, Mississippi, well, guess whose website page is number one? The one that says Florence, Mississippi Tree Service, right? So that tells Google exactly what this page is about. And that's what gives Google the ability to crawl the website, index the pages and show this one number one, because it's got everything done right on this page to rank for that. So I just wanted to show you that part. That's really important. So every page has the same consistency. Uh, number four, add content with keywords to the website. So while you're writing the content for the website, um, you want to make sure these paragraphs actually have some of the same keywords in there about Florence, Mississippi, tree service in Florence, things like that, uh, which we do have here. So that really helps it rank really further. And last but not least, you want a call now button, click to call button on your website pages where anywhere they go, they can just literally tap that with their thumb and give you a call. And that really, really helps increase lead flow once you start increasing the traffic to your website. I mean, by all means, install that call now button right now, even if you're not doing SEO or anything like that, because people that find it are going to call more often if they have an easy button, just click with their thumb, dial out to your business and get on the phone with you guys and schedule an estimate. So again, this is Wesley Smith with treeservicedigital.com. I hope this provided some value for you. Um, again, if you're watching this from YouTube, subscribe and like our channel. This is a replay for you. If you're not in our Facebook group, Tree Service Marketing Secrets, just go to Facebook, do a search for Tree Service Marketing Secrets. You'll see our group. We'll approve you if you are a tree service company. Uh, and we do a lot of talking in there about tree service marketing content, free stuff. Uh, you can take a look in there. Webinars, we do a weekly live video kind of like this. And uh, we've also got a podcast, Tree Service Marketing Profits. So subscribe to that. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. And if you need any help, just go to treeservicedigital.com, you know, with implementation of any of this stuff. Happy to discuss it with you and uh, your local market. Till next time, talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot. Everybody have a great day.